The seventh of an ultimate day of the 2017 OVO Energy Tour of Britain would take the riders 185.1 kilometers from Hemel Hempstead to the only complete Regency town in the Britain of Cheltenham. Right from the gun and under bright skies, many of the general classification riders were looking to set up a tough day through the Cotswolds. After many attacks, it was Dexter Gardias, a local boy from Bike Channel Canyon, who went clear with Rob Power of Orica Scott and Steel Von Hoff of One Pro Cycling. The Skoda King of the Mountains leader, Jacob Scott, went clear with his uh, one of his nearest rivals, Lucas Alcyon of uh, CCC Sprandipol, Kavice and Russ Downing of uh, JLT Condor. As we headed to the first King of the Mountains point of the day at Brill Hill, it was the Skoda leader that crested the summit to extend his lead in the competition with Alcyon going across the line in second place. Two category three and one category two climbs along the routes. Behind, however, it was Tiago Machado of Katusha Alpacine that went on the attack. Maybe a sign of things to come as the race went on. Into the first iceberg sprint of the day in Borton on the water. It was Russell Downing defending the lead of his teammate Graham Briggs, who wears the red, white and blue iceberg jersey. As the stage went on, some of the biggest names in the race, including Mikhail Kwiatkowski, Alex Dowsett, Ryan Mullen, had gone clear in a chasing group. The second iceberg point of the day, Morton in Marsh. It was Russ Downing again that took the stage for JLT Condor and keeping his hopes alive for his teammates. The chasing group behind, Dillier and Hollenstein had joined into the chase. As they went on to the second Skoda King of the Mountains of the day at Borton on the hill. It was Jacob Scott of On Post Chain Reaction again that took maximum points to look in a commanding position with one day to go. The gap came down as the big hitters in this year's OVO Energy Tour of Britain looked to battle it out for the OVO Energy green jersey. Mikhail Kwiatkowski of uh, Team Sky bringing the group through, but a big turn by Victor Kampenarts, the teammate of Lars Bohm, had got the race under control. Straight away, it was Tony Martin of Katusha Alpacine that went clear and a crash behind the riders would uh, be back up and racing. Tony Martin of Katusha Alpacine went into the stage 14 seconds down on the general classification and he was looking to try and go clear hold on to the final iceberg sprint of the day where they would have three two and one seconds it wasn't to be however and after big work by Teo Gagenhart and Elia Viviani it would come down to a sprint for the final intermediate of the day Stefan Kung of BMC led out challenged by Mark McNally and Lars Bohm and it would mean Mark McNally would take the lead in the sprint classification. The final climb of the day on Cleve Hill was Gorka Itzagire that took the points over the top as a group containing Ed Val Bosenhagen, Dion Smith, Lawrence Plus, and Dylan Van Baal went clear, but on a tight right-hander, the Cannondale Drapak rider came uh, down and bring uh, Lawrence de Plus with him. A shame for the former winner of the Tour of Britain in Dylan Van Baal. With four kilometers to go, Bosenhagen, Itzagirde and Smith were still holding a small advantage. But with many of the sprinters, including Caleb Bjorn, Dylan Groenewegen and Alexander Kristoff getting themselves over the climbs, it would come down to a bunch sprint into Cheltenham. Mies gets led through the final two corners. And as they set up for the finish with 500 meters to go, could Caleb Ewan take his fourth stage victory in the race? Fernando Gaviria was also very much to the front. His teammate Max Rakesi tried to lead him out. Dylan Groenewegen of Lotto Jumbo would try and take the points and the seconds for his Lotto Jumbo team as they opened up for the line. Groenewegen it was that had the jump on the other sprinters. Caleb Ewan challenged on the line, but in the throw, it came down to a victory for Groenewegen by half a wheel with his teammate Lars Bohm celebrating behind. Gutsy move by Dylan Groenewegen goes barrier side in the sprint. Has a clear advantage when he comes to the front. Caleb Ewan was challenging Brenton Jones of JLT Condor. A great sprint by him. But in the end, a convincing sprint victory by the Dutchman. 
And the final winner of this year's uh, stage of the Tour de France, Groen Wagen adds to his tally in the Tour of Britain. Congratulations all around from his Lotto Jumbo teammates. Groener Wagen, the winner of the points jersey in last year's Ovo Energy Tour of Britain, takes his first victory of this year's race. He could have an opportunity to come into Cardiff. Groener Wagen took it from Ewan, Brenton Jones, Christoph Pascolon, Benati, Gaviria, Mass, Hertz, and Albanese was your top 10. Lars Bohm retains his Ovo Energy green jersey with a one stage to go. And the team are looking very much in control. He takes an eight second advantage over Stefan Kung into the final stage with his teammate Victor Campenarts in third. It's still all to play for.